For Augusta Business Daily's Biz Bits, I'm Mike Pachanik. Setting their sights on Savannah Riverside. A relatively new apprenticeship program is seeing some success. In 2020, the SRS Nuclear Solutions and the Lower Savannah Council of Governments set up the program to build a healthy pipeline of workers. Since then, it's graduated more than 500 apprentices, the majority of whom have taken full-time jobs at the facility. SRS Brass says it is a win-win program, giving future employees paid opportunities that lead to meaningful careers. Spotlight on Columbia County. With another Masters Week in the rearview mirror, Augusta's neighbor is gearing up for a flurry of chamber events. In May, the chamber will host the first of four workshops called the Business Institute. It'll focus on hot topics such as hiring and firing, digital storytelling, and how to build a customer pipeline. The chamber will also host Georgia's Speaker of the House to deconstruct the 2024 legislative session and its impact on the local business community. And finally, Lights, Camera, Action, a bill that could have curbed Georgia's film tax credit, narrowly escaped the legislative session without passing. That bill could have revised the popular break for TV and filmmakers that gives them up to a 30% reduction on their overall tax bill. Supporters say it's a great sign lawmakers never debated that percentage and allowed it to stand. That means productions that cost more than half a million bucks can get 20% off for filming in Georgia and another 10% using the Georgia Peach logo in their credits. I'm Mike Pachenik for Augusta Business Daily's Biz Bits.